very quick shout out guys just want to Thank all our patrons who support the channel and Alice for making these videos possible. Alice is our producer. Thank you so much, both of you guys. You guys keep this channel going. Thank you everyone who likes and comments. Please do that and help keep these full-length playthroughs alive. YouTube tries to push them off the platform, but I'm here to keep bringing them if I can. And thank you everyone that allows to make that possible. Enjoy part four of the coma. Hey guys, welcome back to the coma too. Let's continue our wondrous adventure, shall we? It's been a week or so since I played now. Um, we're pretty much in completely new territory here uh, with the game, which is going to be interesting. <clears throat> All right. Okay, we're, we're looking good, though. Our health isn't bad. We didn't lose a health item yet again. We can now go and give the antidote back to uh, Yeso, I think her name is. I forget frequently. I'm going to be doing a lot more things in the dark now, by the way. That freak must have broken through. She may come back. I better keep my eyes peeled. She's totally here. She was right there. Not that okay with that, but... Fuck. Everything is so tense! Go, 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 go! Yesel, hi. Yesel! She's not responsive. The plasma tonic, that's her only hope, but I can only. Can I really trust that Doe could be after what he did? No choice! Her life is in the line. Let's hope you're right again, Yesel. Come on. It worked! Hey, you're making a racket. Do you want to get us killed? I was so worried. You have no idea. Alright, so she's okay. Feel right as rain now. You did well out there, Mina. No thanks to that apothecary of yours, who you totally neglected to mention was a real Dokabi. Uh, he's harmless as long as you don't give him your name, that is. What? Don't tell me. Maybe you could have mentioned that before sending me on that insane fetch quest? Must have slipped my mind. I was on the verge of death. Besides, you know that they always say experience is the best teacher. She doesn't really seem to give a shit, really, does she? I hope that isn't the best nugget of wisdom you have for me. I haven't had the best of luck with teachers tonight. And yes, I know that Psycho isn't the real Miss Song. It's just that I spent a lot to absorb. You needed to see everything with your own eyes or you wouldn't have believed me otherwise. Now you know that we're up against the coma is real. Okay, I believe you. But what's next? We can't stick around here. I saw that thing kill a woman. And it was right behind me. We're not safe here. Come again. You saw it kill a living woman? Yeah, she was dressed like some sort of sh shamanka. Her name was Jangmi. No, it can't be. That simply can't be true. Unless, could it be? Yes, so where do I get the feeling you're not telling me something? Never mind, listen, things just got a lot more complicated. We need your help now. We. An ancient order known as the Ghost Vigilantes, excuse me. It's our sworn duty to protect the waking realm from the otherworldly incursions. This night just keeps getting better. You sound like some kind of man we're heroin. You're right, we just lost the one person who could have stopped the apocalypse. The fate of the world hangs in the balance tonight. At this point, I'll believe anything, but you're losing me again. Why was Jang Mi so important to your plan? The boundary separating the waking realm from the coma is at its weakest when the super blood moon rises, excuse me? The vicious sister recently came into possession of a powerful relic that will allow her to perform the blood ritual and bypass that threshold. Only the ancient shaman's kindred may wield the moon incense and seal her here. Well, I guess we'll have to improvise now. We'll rendezvous with my people at Sewer Hospital. There's only one problem. The road there is crawling with mad shadows, so walking is out the question. Public transport isn't exactly an op option, or is it? We had to go on the bike. Looks like we're taking the subway. Hope you bought a T-Money card. 
That works here? Of course, I always have it, right? I must have left it back at the school. Was it in my class? Maybe I dropped it in the storage room? The subway station shade is notoriously strict. You're not getting on a train unless you have that T money card. Alright, we've got a spectral matchbox. These matches create a unique flame that repels certain shadows. I'm sure it'll come in handy, just try to conserve them. When you find your T money card, enter the subway through the entrance near the market. I'll meet you outside the hospital. Oh shit, we've got loads to do. So we need to go back to school. Spectral matches are consumable. Find additional matches to refill your matchbox. Spectral matches release a green flame that repels grasping hands and shadow stalkers. Okay. Well, that's very handy. But I may have already forgotten how to use them. Well, that was me accidentally eating an item that I didn't mean to eat. <laughs> God damn it, I'm cursed. I'm cursed. What the fuck? There was just a tutorial and I've already lost it. Here we go. Why? Okay. Oh, she's right outside again. She's such a bitch. I don't know if this room is safe or not. I'm guessing it is. Like, it makes sense that it's safe, right? Probably. Maybe. Anyway. I don't know which way she went. Well, doesn't look like it's this way. Oh, the door's open. We can just go. Oh, hi there. Some nut barricaded the entrance. You didn't have to do anything with that, right? Oh, no, sir. In fact, I'm happy to hear you open the door. Oh, it's the guy from before. Well, that's good. He opened it up. All right, let's go. The school is about a mile's walk, and Yesel mentioned the road is crawling with mad shadows. Maybe I should call Yesel. Okay. Hello, Yeso. You gonna answer the fucking phone? Mina, what's up? Hey, I don't think I can reach the school by foot. Why would you even try that? Just use a weight burrow. A weight burrow? They're by far the fastest way to travel here. Like wormholes, they link places that are vast distances apart so you can reach them quickly. Sounds a bit far-fetched. Is that really the strangest thing you've heard tonight? You'll need speckle balm to move through white burrows without getting shredded up. I left some in a kit at the police office. It's in the generator room. Fuck. Sure, what could possibly go wrong? God damn it. So we need to get to the fucking generator room. God damn it. Alright. Wrong button. Alright. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad. As long as she isn't immediately in here, which she probably is, everything's gonna be fine. Alright. So this should be it? What's on your mind? There's something freaky surrounding your kit. We call those grasping hands. There are a lot of unexplained phenomena in the coma. We believe this are most subconscious projections. Remember that spectral matchbox I gave you? Light one up and hold it close. A subconscious projection from who or what? From the individuals who considered whatever they're guarding to be of value. Creepy. Maybe the less you know, the better. All right. So that means... Alright, the match flame dissipates the shadows around the container. I receive the spectral balm. This stuff is really pungent. It's called spectral balm. Dab some on you before you crawl through any white burrow. It'll keep the spectral entities from shredding you up. You can find one in the criminal investigation room. Oh fuck, I have to go back? At least it's a save point here. Alright, now where am I going? Fuck me. Alright, so... It's gonna be cl it, we're gonna definitely we're definitely being chased like there's no way there's no scenario here where we don't get chased <sighs> I even see that shadow there just saved if I die I die
How many floors up? Oh, just the one. Mm. Right, we save here. She's coming up here. I don't think she saw me. Right, now's my chance to get down there. What about those? This it? Yes. White burrow. Okay. I think I found that. What did you call it? A white burrow? Doesn't look so safe. That's why you have to use spectral bomb. You're gonna need a little faith though. Okay. Does it do it automatically? Looks like something dug a tunnel through here. It's just wide enough for me to fit through. Let's see where this goes. Oh, what the fuck? The vines writhe unpredictably when they s you sense their presence. The bomb scent protected you from harm. Okay, good. Do I have enough to keep doing this? This is a classroom, but how did I get back here? I was just in the police office. Huh. Space must work differently in the white burrows. Someone's calling me Chance? That can't be. Hello? Is this Mina Park? Is this really who I think it is? Yesel told me I could reach you at this number. I'm Chance. We met earlier. That's the teacher. From the fucking school. Chance, the new teacher in Miss Song's class? We didn't have much of an introduction this evening. Just thought I'd remedy that. You probably gathered by now I'm not your average high school teacher. I've never met a foreigner who can speak Korean fluently. The Stellar Institute has a surprisingly good language program. Look, Yesel says you're a capable girl. You must have made an impression. She really said that. I don't know what the fuck gave her that impression, considering we've just fucked everything up. <sighs> She's a tough nut to crack. She also filmed me in on what happened to Jang Mi. That was... tragic. Call any time you need help, even if it's to practice your English. I don't think the apocalypse is the best time to brush up on my speaking skills. Effective communication will help in any situation. Until then, I guess we'll catch up in person at Sewa Hospital. Alright. So where the fuck am I? I'm literally, like, back where I started. Holy shit. Okay. Well, you know, we got a... Did I just hear something? I'm guessing she's running around. You know what I mean? I don't see why... why I wouldn't be. Alright. Hey, is this is this my classroom? Is this my desk in here? I don't know. Oh hi there. Fancy seeing you here so late, Mina. Ha, oh, stay back! You're wet as a sheet. You like see a ghost or something? Your bitch, please. Da Hyun? A little late to be lurking around here, isn't it? Could this be another shadow? I lost something. Thought I left it in Miss Song's class. Oh fuck. Looking for this? Hey, where did you find that? Give it back! Not so fast! You got a lot of neat stuff back there. Can't say I'm surprised though! Your memory isn't what it used to be. Come to think of it, I've been picking up your slack a lot lately because of that. I don't have time for this. What are you getting at? Just saying it's about time you, like, return the favor. This isn't funny, Dahyun. Believe me. I get no pleasure from this, but you're simply too basic in your current state. I need someone, anyone, to help me figure out why I'm so incensed. And you're, like, the only candidate. I think a little trip down memory lane should jog that foggy brain of yours. You remember how we met, right? It was in that class where we were totally checking out that guy's anatomy. See what I did there? So science class. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Later, Gator. <laughs> hey, wait! I like her design. Checking out some guy's anatomy. What the heck is she talking about? Biology? Would be right? Mm. All right. There's a note here. Torn page. I wonder how many of these I've missed. Oh, this just continues from the first thing. Ah, okay. 
The enemy surrounded Busan and my family was trapped. A sick feeling of impending doom loomed over us. Though the coming week, through the coming weeks, our family would often huddle in somber silence around the radio. We were desperate for any news of the struggling struggle raging around the city. I learned Suho was stationed at the Basan perimeter with other ROK forces under American command and sent a photo of myself through a local contact to lift his spirits. One day, word of General Douglas MacArthur's Uncheon landing reached us? The feeling of hopelessness concerning our dire circumstances soon yielded to cautious optimism. I don't know much about the Korean War, uh, so I'm, I do apologize, like, wholeheartedly. Um, you know, <laughs> if I completely fuck this up. But I'm, I'm doing my best, guys, okay? I'm doing my my very best. All right, what else do we have on this floor? I wonder if any of this is opened up. My team money card, it's not here! You know it's not there! I keep forgetting that you need this out to sea, by the way, which is an issue. So in a different slot as well. I need to get to the cafeteria. I didn't mean to do that. Fuck me. I'm gonna keep doing that, aren't I? That's proper lighter. Okay. <sighs> Alright, so let's have a look around this floor first. I'm guessing it's all still locked, but we'll see. gonna try and take it slow until I get ambushed by Miss Song and brutally killed. Or was this? Alright, that's close still. This is the computer lab. So I need a key for the computer lab. Alright guys, bear that in mind. Biology lab is on the ground floor. I hear a kitty cat. That worries me greatly. Is she like replicating a cat sounds to like lure me in? There's a lot more shadows than there were by the way, a lot more. All right, let's get something out of this machine. Alright, so we bought more of these. I don't... I feel like I'm waste... Like, I feel like I'm wasting stuff having the poison around, but what if I suddenly get poisoned, and then I get absolutely fucked? You know what I mean? Like... I don't know. I don't know. Where should I also should I go? We've got the restroom, the teacher's lounge, principal's office. I don't know. Oh, I can't go down this staircase, it's walled off. Shit. Alright. We need keys to the rooms, clearly. So let's go to the staff office first. Oh fuck, I forgot about those. principal's office. Have I been in here? Did I go in here ever? I feel like I probably did, but it's... God damn it, I did it again. Oh, although I need to actually, apparently, so that's good. Oh, there's a note here. So I actually did good. I made the right call here, guys. Probably, maybe, possibly. Um, Alright. I set upon a precarious journey to deal with almost nothing to my name but my clothes on my back and a handful of belongings. I hastily packed, I felt a spiteful pride knowing my actions compounded my mother's grief. This was how I punish her for slapping me. 
My sense of liberation heightened with each passing step. I was reliant on the goodwill of strangers to usher me closer to my destination. The art of deception somehow came naturally to me and I honed my craft of it on adults every day. Light fingers ensured I never went hungry. There was no true end goal, only a vague notion of reuniting with Suho and finding happiness. After many setbacks, I finally arrived in Seol. All right. All these are locked down by matches, look. Which is pretty obnoxious. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what the best sort of stuff to have is. Like, I haven't had to use the stamina yet, but there's probably going to be a point when I do, you know? I swear I heard my song, by the way, earlier. God damn it, just as I got there. Anyway, what's this? Huh, classroom 3133. This looks like a password list for the doors at Sewer High. So I... Wait, hang on. There's... Wait, there's passwords? What? That makes no sense. Like, that makes no sense, right? I'm not- I'm not being an idiot. Like, why would there be passwords for doors? Is that a thing in Korea? I mean, I guess it is, but... I have never heard of that before. Okay. You can get spectral matches from those. I thought I only had, like, 16 period, you know what I mean? Like, okay. So what did that give me access to? Just, just three one. You know what I mean? Is that, is that it? I don't know. Well, I got another one, so. I don't like the way they cry, by the way. Like, it's pretty off-putting. All right, so. Sorry I'm playing this slow, guys, but I'm just very wary of surviving. Is the staff office open now? That could be a good place to get keys, right? Is that wall still here? Ah, it is. Maybe I should try it from the other side. Oh, I, I can't even try. All the fucking stairs here are shit. Okay. I have mace. I just realized. I've got mace. I guess I now... I can go in... Oh, these doors I can open now. What is this? That looks like an alarm. I don't want to pull an alarm. Why would I pull an alarm? Oh, fuck, I don't know what it is! I opened the door. So that's done something. I don't know what it's done though. Or why that would be of importance to me. So we can check out these rooms. Not 100% sure why I want to at the moment. But, you know. I guess they make cover. Like, you can go in here and hide. Which is always, always a plus. Alright, we can't open that one yet. 3-1 is still off limit. She's definitely here. Have I been in here? No. 
Shadow. What room am I in here? Oh shit, I'm in the staff office. Shit, this is where I wanted to get. I didn't even realize I got in here. This is Mr. Pyobung Shing's desk. He's a school biology teacher. There's a memo for him here. Can you meet me in the staff lounge at 5.30? There's something I need to tell you, Miss No. Okay, well you did. Like, this is the staff lounge, right? Art teacher's name is Mr. Jang. He's good friends with the music teacher, but I think he's a bit weird. Okay. I heard the music teacher, Mrs. No, is resigning this summer. Rumors say she's had a falling out with Principal Lee. Okay. My homeroom teacher's desk. He has such a positive attribute. I hope he isn't stuck in this place. That's a hiding spot. I feel like there should be more in here. Maybe I missed something down the other end because my light wasn't on. Fuck. You just constantly feel like she's going to fucking barge into the room and scare the fucking living shit out of you. It's a key to the computer lab. It's a fun class since everyone secretly installs their favourite games. Alright, so that's up, up. Keep hearing cats, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'm in. Shh. Fuck off. I don't think she ever comes in the classrooms unless she has a reason to. You know what I mean? Like, I think she needs a reason. door there. Let's go in there first. Fuck it, actually. Hello? Okay, no. Good. I received a torn page. Okay, it wants me to go to the teacher's lounge now. I guess I had to go and read the note about that first. But well, at least we got something to read. Uh, let's have a look, shall we? Years of artillery bombardment have leveled Seoul to the ground. I wandered the city streets aimlessly and in a state of disbelief. Dilapidated buildings remained and have fallen into disrepair due to years of neglect. Residents have erected shanty towns and the remnants of neighbourhoods once bustling with life. It was unrecognisable. Exhausted from my long journey, I eventually found a quiet alley and fell asleep on the street. I awoke with a start after experiencing a vivid dream. I felt naturally drawn to Song Grung and the district we had settled in eight long years ago. I did not know my life was about to change forever. Okay. I'm forgetting whose diary this is, by the way. Like, I genuinely am forgetting. Oh, God. All right. Okay, so now... We know where to go. So I guess what we're gonna do is go down to the teacher's lounge and then get a key for somewhere else Maybe the biology lab, or maybe that other classroom I couldn't get in. And then we'll take it from there. Fuck, this is really intense shit, by the way. Like, it really is. Like, I'm not I'm not happy, <laughs> if I'm honest with you. Because I feel like there's impending doom lurking around every single fucking corner all the time. You know what I mean? Alright. I got this. Now, it's going to be... I don't know if I should go down. Oh, fuck, I don't know, guys. I don't know what the best route's going to be, you know what I mean? This door isn't... This door's not real, by the way, which very much bothers me. Uh, anyway. Is there a save point near here? I can't fucking remember. Yeah, the old storage room. Go away. Go in here and then go down and out the other way. Stupid fucking heartbeat he thinks it's so fucking good. There's another door here, right? Probably. Yeah, and then I need to go just two rooms. Save point in here first. Done. Boom. Go. 
All right, so there should theoretically be something in here for me. There we go. All right, you're late. Tell me everything you know about Sewa High. I need to know you're the on our side. What are you getting at now? You know I'm a senior homeroom teacher. It's a delicate time and I don't feel like getting caught up in whatever you're scheming. So the music teacher had a vendetta against the principal, right? It doesn't matter. There's a big scandal brewing at Sewa High. I just hope you can't get caught in the middle of it, Miss No. What are you doing this, Mr. Shin? I have Principal Lee's laptop. This is a smoking gun we've been waiting for. You stole her laptop? Oh, it's a, he it's a she. Keep it down. Everything should be explained. I'll go to your homeroom later. It's a Miss No resigning, so no one has something to do with it. It all reads like some crazy conspiracy. I'll probably find out more in Mr. Shin's classroom. Oh, fuck. Which one was his classroom? I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't know. <sighs> like... Hang on, is the computer lab his key? It is not key. Is his room? I think it might be, right? That would make sense. We have to go back to the fucking computer lab. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, whatever. Is it in here? There's got to be something, right? There's got to be something. This is the computer lab, right? I'm not, I'm not imagining things again. Is this something? It's the fucking... I don't want to match. I need to know what room your fucking class... I don't know which one your classroom is. God damn it. Did I hang on? Anything else in here? Anything else of note in this fucking room? No. So it's got to be one of the classrooms below. All right. Was this locked before? I think it was, right? Go away. Yes! It's about time. I gotta go, Mr. Shin. Wait, Mr. Bang is recovering all the deleted files from Lee's laptop. Come out to the com Oh my god! You're in deep now. I'm not sure about this, Mr. Shin. Trust me, you'll change your tune after you see what's on there. Oh, that's not... That's not that's their names. That's who's writing it. Must be the incriminating on the laptop. I wonder what it is. Oh my god. So back up to the fucking computer lab again. No big deal. This isn't the computer lab. This is the computer lab. Alright, anything in here? Yes, there's something here now. Here. Yes, you. Alright, it's a work in progress, but you can open some of the files I've extracted. She's doing private teacher evaluations. What the hell is this to make us look incompetent? I haven't found anything on Principal E yet, but check this out. She even has dirt on the headmaster. Something happened with the ex-school nurse? This is going to be a total scandal. Principal Lee probably wants to blackmail the headmaster. We've got to find something on her. See a lot of suspicious emails between her and various journalists, parents, and even her husband. Is any a member of the city council? Perfect. We already have enough to notify the media. I'll just take the laptop and sift through the rest at home. No way. Principal Lee's going to get noticed if you log in with a different IP. Email services are pretty secure these days. Then we need to do something before she notices the laptop's missing. How about leaving it here until tomorrow? I'll send out everything to the media in the morning. We better keep it in the biology and chemistry lab. Why? You guys don't know this, but the headmaster has Siwa under heavy surveillance. I found one of his hidden CCTVs in my lab. He removed it after I freaked out. He's going to be curious about what you found. Security guards are on his side, so it's only a matter of time before they come sniffing around for this laptop. I'm leaving an extra biology lab key here. Ask one of the students to bring the laptop down to the lab later. That will throw them off the trail. Wait, where are you going? Principal Lee called. Do you think someone on her side? I'll let you guys know if she mentions her missing laptop. Miss No must have been forced to resign by Principal Lee. This trio has a real vendetta against her now. Mr. Shin mentioned that he left the biology lab key here. I should have a look around. Is it going to be in here? 
There it is. This must be the lab key. Okay, and that's the room that the fucking ghost wanted us to go to. <sighs> Alright. So. We now can go down to the biology lab. I should probably check out everything else uh, on that floor first. So I should go down the right hand stairs, save in the old storage room, and then check out the ones in that floor. Alright? Perfect. Alright, save. Alright, let's search these. That's locked. Can't go in there yet. That's fine. Don't want to go in any of these. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, so I need to go up, down. Fuck. Could be in trouble here, guys. That was close. She was right there. Fuck! Fuck! Those heels are so intimidating. Step on me, mummy. Ooh, woo. So we need to go down the stairs here if we can. If not, all the way along first. No. She's targeting me out here. I have to go all the way along. On the plus side, I can save her. Just take it easy. What the fuck was that noise? That was so close. That was so fucking close. <laughs> Go away. Go away. No. No more quick time. Jesus Christ, she was right there. Alright, back down again. Alright, this is biology lab. Let's check out. Whoop! There first. <gasps> or not. God damn it. Can I get in any of these rooms? Yes. I think we've been in there before. What is this I'm looking at here? This pose? The male figure's expression betrays a look of desperation. He appears to be a foreigner. A memo is attached to his forehead. Sexual assault, you serious? You destroy both our reputations, and for what? I will not give in to this blackmail. Nobody in the right mind will believe what you're saying. This is absolutely outrageous. This is Mr. Mott, the school's headmaster. His family started so high. Holy shit, there's so much shady shit. Got a note. A torn page. Let's have a read, shall we? I arrived in Songrang to find most of our neighborhood suffered the same fate as the rest of the city. My search continued and then I saw it amidst the rubble and ruin. Our home. Dust and ash dulled its appearance and there it stood alone and defiant. The front door was ajar, and I looked through cautiously, reacquainting myself with the interior. I moved inside the old bedroom my brother and I once shared. Suha was there, still in his military uniform, collapsed in the room's corner. I looked into his eyes, but the light within had gone. An open amulet was resting in his hand with the photo I'd sent him inside. Sura overtook me, and I fell there. My tears did not subside until I had fallen asleep. That's fucking awful. More mace. I know we took a hit, but one hit isn't that big a deal. Good. Alright, so it's literally the next door room. How are we for notes? None I don't think this is this area. I think that must be the subway. So we got all of the ones in the market, I think. We're missing some in the police station, the rooms we can't access. 
Probably missing some here as well. There's only one it looks like we're missing, actually. Yeah, one. Huh. I guess we'll find out anyway how things go. I'll do my best to find all the knights, guys, but I can't obviously guarantee that I will. All right. I can't die here. Question, is there a hiding spot in this room? No. She goes upstairs. Alright, where am I now? Is this the right room? Biology lab. This class. I met Darkion here on my first day at Sewa High. See? Brilliant. Hey girls, get a load of this one. Why is it just me or the new class that like a bunch of middle schoolers? I, uh... What, you got something to say, fresh meat? A fresh meat's place is to be seen, not heard. Haven't you figured that out yet? Oh, yeah. Hey! Don't you girls have like a better place to haunt? An another one? She looks uppity. Guess she hasn't learned her place either. You girls think of what I'm thinking? Oh, I'm thinking it's about time for her to meet. The Claw. The Claw! Saved by the bell, you fresh meat's lucked out this time. Don't think we're gonna forget your ugly mugs either. <laughs> hey, you okay? Yeah, just caught me off guard. Don't sweat it, they're like messing with all the first years. Guess we're in the class together. I'm Dia Hyun Lee. I'm Mina Park. <laughs> Feels like it just happened yesterday. She really put her neck on the line for me that day. What was Dark Yun? I mean, that Shadow's purpose in sending me here, though. This is it, the first... Oh, that's it, she's there. I didn't even see her. The first place we met. Check out the big brain on Mina. I guess your memory doesn't completely resemble Swiss cheese after all. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. This place, the coma, isn't right, and you're not yourself. Au contraire, it's the most right, babe. You won't find any fake-ass bitches here. Well, until you arrive, that is, but maybe I can help remedy that issue. Anyhow, I grow weary of this. Time to bounce and try not to lose your card again, Butterfingers. Okay, we've got the team money card. Alright, so we can go to the subway now. She's gone. I don't have time to worry about this right now. I've got to catch up with Yaisal. There is a note here. Let's have a read. You received a torn page. This will be the last one for the school, I think? Yeah. In September, the news that UN forces retook Seoul vindicated our feelings. Despite their positive outcomes, we've received no correspondence from CO. We assumed he was in Seoul, as we know he was dead. With the same forces, months turned to years as the fighting continued. My parents were grief-stricken, my life went on, hollow as it was. Hope was all we had left. In the early spring of 1953, I got into a serious argument with my mother. Looking back, I can't even remember what our fight was about. The sharp sting of a slap is still fresh in my memory. I waited until my parents fell asleep, and with emotions running high, hurriedly packed some belongings and fled into the night. Well. Okay. So, anyway. So. Now. We need to go back up to the study room. In order to, uh, you know, go back to the police office. Oh, fuck me. That went pretty well. Hope she doesn't check in here. Because I hid in here twice, which might be pushing my luck. I don't know if that's the thing in this game, but it might be pushing my luck. Alright, up, up, and we're out. I said up, 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 and we're out. That isn't actually the case. Which is 
coming. Safe. Alright. Nice trap game, but you didn't get me. Alright, now we go back. Woo! Alright, so now that's cleared out. That's good, right? So, what we're going to do now, before we wrap up this part, is we're going to obviously go down and leave here. <laughs> but also, um, a bunch of you mentioned that the spectral incense is a key item that I missed in the butcher shop. So we're going to go back to the butcher shop and grab that and hopefully survive. Although I don't know how feasible that is. Uh, I'm not even sure actually we can get back into Dokkabee Market, can we? Did I fuck up? I guess we'll find out in a second. I'll drop a save. The butcher shop isn't too hard to get to. I'm more worried about running into um, Miss Song and dying, but you know. We can. So it's going to be up, right, up, left, up. It sounds awful, but I will give it a try. She's going to be here. Oh, he, uh, that's Jang Mi's body. Jang Mi, huh? What's this? I received the spectral incense. She must have got it from the market. I wonder what it's used for. We can save here as well. So let's go and do that quickly. I got the achievement aromatherapy. Thank you for that, guys, because I probably would have missed it otherwise, if I'm honest with you. <sighs> okay. We'll save here. Then we get the fuck out. I think everywhere should be back to normal now. Like, we should be able to just go through the way we came in. <laughs> that was bullshit. I think I heard her to the left, uh, to the right there, though, so I think we'll be alright. You know what? Gonna do this. Gonna eat that. Uh, oh fuck! There's not a fucking full health one here. Well, I'll take it for now, I guess. But as soon as I can get a better bar. All right, we made it out. Safe. Subway is here. We should be good to go. Ah, oh, that was a tense little section, but pretty non. Songring Station. I'm used to riding the subway late, but something about this place feels off tonight. You mean to say that this place isn't all together? Are you fucking kidding me? We got a torn page. I'll keep going till we get to a save. Mystery shrouds the true history of the Order of Ghost Vigilantes, or the Order. It's an international group composed of many powerful chapters around the world. The Shadow Ministry, a central leadership headquartered in Rome, binds them. These chapters operate independently and outside the conventional rules of law. Their primary purpose is to protect the waking world from the ever-present threat or onslaught from hostile entities within the Shadow Realm. Scholars, priests, shamans, mercenaries, and individuals of interest make up its rank. These people possess unique skill sets and wield great political influence. The Shadow Ministry provides directives to its ministers, or bishops, who oversee local chapters. This poster depicts the famous K-pop girl group, Mystic. They're especially popular with the guys, and girls like to emulate their fashion and dance routines. I can't believe they're about the same age as me. Alright. 
You know what? This seems highly risky. We're just going to save here in Dokubi Market, and next time we're going to go deeper into the depths of the subway. But we made some good progress today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Another four parts to go. Sorry this one was a little bit spaced out compared to the others, but I've had stuff going on this week that's kind of delayed my recording. I hope you understand. I hope you stay numb, and there'll be more of the Koma 2 coming very soon. Please remember to like the video, share the video, comment on the video, do all those things that can help push this out in the algorithm, and just let me know what you think. It helps motivate me. These series always do quite quiet on views, especially when I split it up like this, but I'm doing it for the hardcore fans, and I hope you guys enjoy and appreciate this content. It means a lot to have you here. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you really soon. Bye.